Hello green and white fans look at this news, this is stirring things up behind the scenes at Celtic and it's making the web buzz. That's because a journalist has just brought you some bombshell news and I've just brought it to you first hand, which nobody expected, before revealing what's going on I'm just going to ask you to leave a like on this video and in return I'll be keeping you up to date with the latest Celtic news every day. Thanks and let's get down to business. In the corridors of Parkhead, a name has resurfaced that has provoked whispers and heated debate among Celtic fans, Odson Adlar, the former striker, currently at Crystal Palace, is the subject of rumours suggesting that he will return to the Scottish club this summer. But is this possibility real or just a distant wish? Brendan Rodgers, Celtic's manager, is looking to reshape the team for the Champions League group stage, and rumours point to a possible reunion with Edouard. However, his situation at Palace is complicated, last season, Edouard was little utilised by coach Oliver Glasner and scored just eight goals. This discreet performance, coupled with the high price demanded by Palace, around £20 million, calls into question the viability of signing him. Edouard's passion for Celtic is unquestionable. Recently, during the Player of the Year award ceremony, he claimed to follow every game like a true fan and expressed his joy at the recent victories. I'm always happy to come back and see the fans and players, and will enjoy the evening, said the striker. However, Opinions are divided. While some see Edouard's return as a chance to strengthen the attack for the Champions League, others, like club legend Simon Donnelly, believe that the player has had his day and that the club should look for new options. No, because I think he's had his time. I'd look elsewhere, said Donnelly. The decision is in the hands of Rodgers and the board. After all, investing a significant sum in a player who hasn't shone in the Premier League is a risk. Edouard's passion for Celtic is genuine, but financial and tactical logic may dictate otherwise. What do you think, Celtic fan? Does Edouard deserve a second chance at our beloved club, or should we be investing our money more strategically? Leave your comment and let's debate this issue that's heating up the hoops.